managers come and go, mate. Yeah, and, and at the end of the day, if you ain't winning, you're sacked. That's how it should be. Right, I know Arsenal are doing well, but people are getting carried away. This Arsenal team would wipe the floor with them. Let's see what this geezer says. Sack over on Ray. You picked Saka over on Ray. Don't even. Oh, mate. You don't have a clue. Layman or Ramsdale. The fuck? Somebody's not even recency biased. One of them wasn't even young. She was in her 40s. Yeah, bro, what? Mate, bro, bro, this team, you, you, this team ain't done nothing. This team just hasn't done anything. But this, bro, Lee, this is exactly the kind of people here yeah, that are just slivering around on Twitter, bro. That's why I'm not there. Bro, this is the perfect customers for the for the Conkeys. Man said the Saka millions, over millions on me, bro. Saka over. Bro, how can you, how can anyone pick Aaron Ramsdale, who's been relegated more times than he's won fucking trophies? Yeah, over a goalkeeper who did not lose a game in his first 49 games in English football. Yeah. Like, how is that even a thing? He went invincible in his first season. <sighs> Makes, mate, this, this is the thing. Standards are on the floor, exactly. And this is what I'm up against. I'm negative. I'm toxic. This is the people that are telling me this. They're picking fucking Martinelli over Pires. Xhaka over Vieira. <laughs> Bro, and Saka over Henri, like. Bro, and these are people that are going to games. Yeah. They're outside the stadium. We're fucked. We're finished. It's done. But, but this Lee, this is exactly why, yeah, I could not, I could not allow myself to even entertain the thought of Arsenal winning the league because I knew it wouldn't be worth it. Because of people like that, now, bro. Imagine if I had to listen to these man, the man that think Saka's better than Henri. If I had to listen to them talking shit, oh my god! Could, could you ever? Could you imagine how much worse it would be? There was already people come um, saying before we bottled the title that this would be a greater achievement than the Invincibles. We were going up against the fucking all singing, all dancing Man City team, and whereas before it was Man United, yeah, and they weren't as relentless as Man City. Yeah, then when people bring up that Tottenham had the, a younger squad than Arsenal and finished second to Chelsea, record-breaking Chelsea that season. Yeah, so, and they still got that defensive record in it. Mm. Yeah, and it's like, you know, people, people, I bring, I'll bring that up and say, well, they had a younger team. Nobody was peddling youth project then for Tottenham. Mm. They finished second to a, a record-breaking Conte team. Yeah, but that was seen as a bottle job. So why am I? Oh, no, 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 no. Because if you look at the amount of points... You know, people were talking a couple of weeks ago, we could get more points than the Invincibles. Like, we're 10 points ahead of Unai Emery's only season, and we've done half a billion. Yeah. 10 points, that's it. It's ridiculous, bro. bro. This is what I'm up against, mate. Every fucking day. Now, nah, these men love move the goalpost, though. That's just what it is. They just love move the goalpost, bro. Like you said, when it was Tottenham, it was a big un it was a big failure. Yeah, now we have to try and find the positives of... of um, for what you man done when really it's just a bottle job bro like there's no other way to put it if we win the league cup next season this lot of cheer like it's the greatest cup in living history because Arsenal yeah, but, won this, it, but, this season, it, but this season it's dead yeah this season it's dead it's a shit cup nah we put the pressure on that's what they kept saying to Tottenham oh, I'll put the pressure on trophy <laughs> yeah well if we put the pressure on but they don't like it when it when it's done to them yeah, I remember last season. Yeah, do you remember Ben White laughing at Minami, um, Minamino up at Anfield when he skied the shot in stoppage time, nil-nil? Mm. Yeah, Ben White was like, ah, laughing at him. And then the second, like, a week later, they battered us at the Emirates, knocked us out of the semi. And then then I think they actually went on to win it. Yeah, that was like, was it last season or season before? I think they won it. But um, but yeah, if we'd got to the final, all these people that are sitting there saying the League Cup shit would have been watching the final or going to the final or streaming the final. Mm. Like... It's bullshit, man. It's absolute bullshit. The standards are on the floor. And the thing is, the club know these people exist. So Bro, they just listen, do the bare minimum. Listen, no, not only do they know they exist, but they bank on them existing, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because these yeah. are the guys that keep that revenue coming in, bro. Perfect customers, mate. Perfect yeah. customers. Your club's the same. Your club's exactly the same. Why are we both playing in fucking America? For money. We're, you're playing Barcelona, Barcelona, or I think you're playing Madrid, and we're playing Barcelona, and I think we're playing you in New, in New York or somewhere. Yeah, because we both got American owners. We got American owners, isn't it? We both got America, America is fifty odd times bigger than England. Well, and exactly. football's on the rise. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're going to get new fans. They don't need fans like us. Like match day fans are an afterthought anyway. Yeah, yeah, we see that in lockdown. The clubs didn't go bust, did they? 
In fact, we actually spent more money than we've ever spent. Yeah, not only did they not go bust, brother, they, brother, at one point, remember, they were trying to charge man for individual games and that. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> oh, they, brother, listen, they tried everything. They tried everything. <laughs> man said $850 for preseason Man United tickets. Lord have mercy, bro. They're shameless, but they know people are pay it because there'll be a lot of people in America that have never watched Arsenal or Man United. And it's that, they, they and might see it as well. We might that. never... Yeah, yeah then fly to England. Than it is to fly to England, and you can't get a ticket in England anyway because it's fucking nearly impossible. At Arsenal, Man United, facts. Yeah, unless you know somebody who's not going or fucking a mate of a mate or whatever, you ain't getting a ticket. It's cheaper to spend that. No, yeah, and some right, of these people would have, would have saved up all year in the hope, yeah, that Arsenal are coming to America this year instead of Australia, for example. So they've got the dough and they'll go and spend it. And then they'll go in the club shop. The players will all be outside signing autographs for them. All right, fucking yeah, but then you try doing that when they're fucking at the Emirates, they don't even want to put they, they don't even put their heads up, they just walk straight past you. Mm. Look what I did with the little girl signing her thing outside the dressing room the other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah they don't even want to fucking entertain you. But over there, oh, it'd be vibes. We'll have Ray Parler on the fucking drink, giving it cheers, guys. <sighs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Fucking righty willing out another shirt. I think I think um somebody sent me a picture earlier. The new Arsenal <coughs> home kit has been I think it's the new kit. It's not been confirmed by the club. But there's a shirt on sale in India and in Indonesia. And it's apparently the new home shirt. Down the outside, like on the on the lines down here, where it stitches it together, it's got mm. the wins, draws, and, and obviously no losses from the Invincible season in the order that we won and drew all the games. Yeah, well, why is PR, it on the PR, 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 PR. Well, why is it on the shirt? Is it the anniversary of the... Oh, yeah, it's 2004, 19 years ago. <laughs> Soon to be 20. They've done oh, it. Oh, is that why? The 20-year anniversary? Is that why they're doing it? Well, no, they're just doing it because they know if they put the Invincibles down the, down the stitching, yeah, with the with win, 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 draw, draw, win, 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 draw, 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 all the way down in the stitching, they know people to fucking rush out and buy it, bro. Yeah, that sentimental thing, isn't it? Yeah. That, they, they should be ashamed of themselves. 20 years. 20 years next season, that is. Fuck, you know. And they've got the audacity to put that on a shirt. I'd be embarrassed. I wouldn't be shouting that. Jeez. But they know people are buy it. That's not the one still. Bro, imagine picking Saka over fucking Henri. Oh my days. That kid has never seen Henri play football. Jeez. It's embarrassing. Imagine picking Granite Xhaka over fucking Vieira. I wonder whether Saka will have a statue outside the ground. They probably have one next season, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, why, why wait, bruv? Why wait? <laughs> I mean, you know I mean? He don't need to win anything. You know, Harry it. Kane's going to get one. He ain't won nothing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> man, that's it. Why wait, man? Harry Kane's got a mural or a painting out there, bro. So oh, maybe mate, maybe he's going to get one. Maybe Saka's going to get a painting as well. Mm. No. But don't worry, man. They go around the local fish and chip shop and promote that every now and again. Like, they're promoting all the local businesses. Like, load of bullshit. Starboy statue. It's prophetic, nice. man. It's not, it's not looking good, bro. But this is... It wouldn't this surprise is the fan, me. This is the fan bit, base. It wouldn't surprise me one bit, though, yeah, if all, all of these clubs have sat down, or, or a lot of these clubs have sat down together, like the hierarchy, and said, right, how can we finesse all of these fucking fans? Yeah, what we'll do is we'll fucking. Oh, they've definitely, they, they've definitely, they've done it subconsciously. They've, they, they all do it in their own right. Do you know what I mean? They don't even need to work together, but these guys will have people that um, are on, on the social media that, are looking at trends, are looking at certain things. Mm. You know what I mean? Don't think that they're not look, they're not seeing what kind of things people are buying and all these other things. And then they're selling to you. Don't get it mm. twisted. They're selling to you. Even this dog thing, yeah. Like remember when you lot had the new tracksuit release? Saka had the fucking dog, bro. Like he had the puppy in his hand. Had the little puppy. Did. He had the puppy yeah. in his hand. He had the little puppy, bro. I remember. <laughs> No, they're Why are they in... with dogs. And, and I don't know because they know that dogs are popular in this country, bro. They know. That people love their dogs, in it. Like it's just, it's just marketing. Like that's mm. just all it is. It's just this emotive crap that they're doing. Like this is not the first puppy that you guys have had at your club. Like this season. It's like true. literally, it's that. Like they know what they're doing, bro. That, that don't think that don't think they don't know what they're doing. It's crazy, man. Literally, <laughs> yeah. How about promote winning? Exactly. They can't do that. <laughs> it's negative. It's negative to promote winning. Like, imagine having the audacity, if that is on the shirt with that Invincible thing, yeah? 
Imagine having the audacity to even fucking put that on a shirt when you ain't won the league for that long. Yeah, literally, like, isn't it? That's, that's that would have been perfect, team. yeah, if you won the league this season. If we had won the league. Maybe maybe they manufactured it before we won the league. I yeah, know. and then it's 20 years and they're like, oh, you know what? Like, boom. Yeah. But imagine having the audacity to do that. <laughs> this is this club's a fucking Ponzi scheme, mate. I'm telling you. It is a <laughs> fucking Ponzi Bro, scheme. Th- this feels like the identical, identical conversation, yeah, that I was having with Henry. Like... <laughs> Literally, I'm saying, man, Ponzi scheme, bro. These men are money laundering. I, like, I, I, yeah, they are. I think I think Arsenal's worse, though. At least we've got a history of winning stuff. Yeah, like you know, we we've been the best in England. We've done doubles. We've been yeah, in the pain's the pain's different because you know what it was, isn't it? Mm, exactly, bro. These fucking five players standing behind me, yeah, on this green screen, mate. That is the standards of Arsenal Football Club. It should never have been dropped. Yeah, now they're now you've got people out here on mass telling me that fucking Odegaard's a great player and like Saka's this and fucking Ben White's this. Like, fuck off, mate. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's not behind me. That's the standards. I've seen them. Ashley Cole is the best left back I've ever seen in the Premier League. Nobody can argue with me. Yeah. Yeah. It's best left back I've ever seen in the Premier League. Yeah, and he's played for my football club. Yeah, Thierry Henry and Burkamp are two of the greatest players ever. Yeah, and they've both played for my club at the same time. Vieira, mm-hmm. one of the best midfielders of all time. Like, probably they can't fucking argue it. Like, and they're trying to sit here and shoehorn Saliba into a fucking better than Sol Campbell. Fuck off. Yeah, that's like, crazy. And Sol period. Campbell did it for a sustained period of time. Everyone's obsessed with Saliba, yeah, because of his his ceiling leap. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the ceiling, bro. Yeah, but that's, that's what it is. Because he had a good start to the season and then he died. Like, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro, and then he he ended up, Gabriel was better than him. He's got a high ceiling. What does that mean? That means you've gassed him up into oblivion. Yeah, mm. so now when he has a couple of bad games or he's injured, oh, it's because Saliba, oh no, because he's young, or, oh no, he's learning. First season in the... Bro, I've seen I've seen Arsenal in 2009 play you lot in the Champions League semi. That squad was younger. That, that was younger than the squad we got now. Tottenham's squad, when they challenged for the title and finished second, was younger than the squad we've got now. Mm. No no PR back then for Tottenham. No PR for, for, our, um, for our team back in 2009. It was just get on with it, try and win the Champions League. Unbelievable. Not wrong. Yeah, Not no wrong, process. Wrong. The only process after that was Wenger was fucking selling the world fourth a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is why we've got millions of these little fucking idiots support our football club. Mm. Lowering the standards because they're just happy with top four. If we win nothing next season and we get top four, just not be happy again. And that'll be yeah, and it'll be your manager's what fifth year, fourth season. Fourth fourth season, season. yeah. And they'll be happy. Oh, give them another load of money. Have another go. They're, they're, just, they're just basically what it is. Most of these fans online have only started supporting us because of Wenger. Yeah. So now they want a fairy tale. They want mm. the next Wenger, the next one that stays for 20 years. Sorry, football don't work like that. Yeah, it doesn't. <coughs> Manage- it doesn't. We've <laughs> passed that era. Mm. Managers come and go, mate. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, if you ain't winning, you're sacked. That's how it should be. 